What's going on YouTube? Today we're looking at the Geekom A8 and spoiler alert, it's great. So the Geekom A8 has the Ryzen 9 8945HS or the Ryzen 7 8845HS. The one we have right now is the Ryzen 9 8945HS. It also has the Radeon 780M graphics card. It has a dual channel DDR5 5664 gigs RAM. It also has a 2TB NVMe drive, comes with Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.0, and pre-installed Windows 11 Pro. Now the Geekom A8 has a powerful mini PC with AI capabilities. It has a dedicated AI processor that tackles tasks with ease, boosting performance and efficiency. It also has stunning visuals, which handles multimedia and HD video processing flawlessly. It is also great for multitasking because it has intelligent optimization, which ensures smooth performance for all your needs. The Ryzen 9 has 8 cores and 16 threads, and the clock speed is up to 5.2 GHz. The model we have right now has a 216 gig drive, but the Geekom A8 can handle up to 64 gigs of RAM. In front of the Geekom A8, it has two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type Ace as a 3.5 front stereo headphone jack and the power button. On the back, it comes with the USB 4 Gen 3 Type C with speeds up to 40 gigahertz. It also has another Type C, which is a USB C 3.2 Gen 2. One of the Type A's is USB 3.2 Gen 2 and a USB 2 Type A. It also has an RJ45 Ethernet slot up to 2.5 gigahertz and the DCN. Now the Geekom A8 is capable of doing four displays at the same time. Utilizing the two HDMI's can handle up to 4K 60 hertz. The two USB-C slots can handle up to 8K at 30 hertz. Later on, we're gonna test out an eGPU as well, and you can use the USB 4 Gen 3 Type C for this method. It also has an Ice Blast 1.5 cooling system, which brings a brand new experience with low noise and high airflow to dissipate heat faster, maintain high performance, and say goodbye to hot panels. Now, a traditional computer has a minimum power of 350 watts, but the Geekom A8 only needs 45 watts. It's a little bit higher than the Mac Mini M4, but in my opinion, the 45 watts is not bad at all, and you're able to play games using the Geekom A8. This is also compatible with a VESA mount, and you can mount it on the back of your TV or the back of your monitor. It's super lightweight at 450 grams, super compact at 0.47 liters, and the aluminum housing is fairly small as well. Now let's compare this with the Mac Mini M4 with the small form factor. And for me, when I first got the Mac Mini, it is small. But if you compare it with the Geekom A8, the A8 is actually a lot smaller. It's thinner, as you can see there. And if we're comparing size, it's slightly smaller than the Mac Mini M4. There you go. And you know what the best part about the Geekom A8? You can actually game with it. So here it is. We are playing Genshin Impact now. And I'm going to show you guys in the settings here that we are using the highest graphic settings. As you can see there. And everything is on high. Motion blur is extreme. Things like that. And so far, uh, I can't complain about the quality of the gameplay. If you look on, on my uh, top left screen there, we can see the frame rates in real time. So that's really good. That's a statue of the seven. 
And up here, you're going to see that um, we're stabling around uh, 50, close to 50-ish um, frame rates. On the website, it said that we can, we'll be able to do like 50, 60 frame rates on Genshin Impact. Mind you, right now, we are also recording via OBS with, um, you know, we're just recording the screen. So it does take up a little bit of space there during the gameplay as well. So even with us recording on, on OBS, uh, it's still stabling close to 50 frames per second, which is pretty good. Now, Call of Duty is a more demanding game for sure. Now, of course, this will also apply on latency and how well the internet is. Right now, as you can see, the frame rates um, for the gameplay, right? It's around 90, 90. Yeah, she goes to around 100 frames per second. That's really good. Pushing it really well there. Look at the frame rates there. A little bit drops, but it does come up. Frames per second. So that's definitely a win for me. We'll let's keep trying it out. Spring mine. So far it's stabling, mm, 60 frames per second, not horrible. So yeah, there you have it. Um, it's definitely useful in my opinion because you know, stabling around 60 frames per second is not bad for gaming. I did push it more on the higher side of things, but yeah, it's able to do it. Not bad at all. So right now it's on uh, texture quality here. It's on medium, so that's not bad. We'll leave it at that. We'll test out one of these maps here and see how well we do. Just look at the frame rates and the um, FPS as well. The problem with this character and it takes up a lot of uh, GPU as well. So let's just try it. Is my power to wield. Well, so far we haven't died, so that's good. Yeah. Feel the body. Ooh, one hit KO. Let's go, oh, man. There you have it. Um, again, frame rates are just dropping on this game right here, just because it it does need a lot of power but it's able to do it that's not bad at all so right now we're playing cyberpunk 2077 quite honestly the graphics is not bad at all we're stabling around uh, 20 about 30 frames per second here not bad at all We're just dumping bodies in here. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, Saber Punk here. Close to 20 frames per second. Again, we're still recording on our OBS at the same time. So uh, I think that's a win for sure, definitely. So we are now playing Spider-Man. And basically, as you could see in the frames per second here, not horrible, right? Not too great. Again, we're recording via OBS as well at the same time. 
and it's close to 50 frames per second at the peak there so that's not bad at all um you know most of the time most of these games you are be you will you will be able to play them without a problem like that so that's not horrible now price comparison on the mac mini versus the geekom a8 the geekom a8 is actually a lot cheaper because when you spec out the mac mini m4 the price goes up a lot more so when you're looking at the Geekom here with the 32 gigs RAM and also the Ryzen 9 with two terabytes SSD, it'll come up to 899. On the other hand, looking at the Mac mini, yes, it starts at 599. But once you put in that 32 gigs and that two terabyte, the price goes up to $1,800, which in my opinion, it's not worth it because that's so much money. You can basically get two sets of the Geekom A8 for one price of the Mac mini M4. As we tested earlier, the Geekom A8 can game, but we can also use an eGPU with it so you can bump up the specs even more. Let's go. So right now we're just going to show you guys we have the AMD Radeon RX 6, 6650 XT here with 8 gigs of VRAM. And that's what we have connected to our Geekom A8 right now. Which is pretty awesome because it will help us on our gaming. Now let's look at the performance here. So as you can see here we have still about 30 frames per second here. See if it does better than our old um, test. Um, so far, actually, in my opinion, um, it's more fluid. So let's just um, let's just try it out. Oh yeah, it's a lot more fluid. It does lag a little bit compared to our um, main PC, but it's really good. It's just a little bit of improvement, you can tell. It's not as laggy, right? Yeah, I mean like the frames per second here, as you could see, I don't think it, it really went, um, you know, did so much better. But the graphics is, you can tell it is a little bit better. So that's definitely a win. But for me, for the little device, um, before, before put installing the eGPU, I think it was pretty good already. That's just my opinion. With the eGPU, of course, it's a lot smoother it's adding more into it but at least there's an option to add in an eGPU right so that's a really good addition as well for the Geekom 888 like right now this is a very demanding game obviously uh, Path of Exile 2 and as you can see it's doing really well so right now we're playing the Miles Morales Spider-Man and it's stabling around 40 frames per second which is not bad at all um again this is through the eGPU using the geekom a8 q r f There you go. R. So what do you think of the eGPU connected to the Geekom A8? Personally, I think the Geekom A8 is good enough. Um, the eGPU is just a good addition because you can bump up your specs depending on what GPU you have. But honestly, if you want to start live streaming, playing games, and just pretty much fiddle around with videos and photos, you can use the Geekom A8 no problem at all. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new mini PC. 
I'm pretty impressed by this and it's super small as well. You can game with this mini PC and the capabilities of an eGPU is amazing as well. So if you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!